All right, what's up YouTube? Today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing another tire video, but this time on the pit bike. So we got a little work to do, take the tire off, get all that figured out, and start wrapping it with rubber bands. But before that, I got the CR125 out. We'll get that cranking in a minute, but before that, gotta wash up the E really quick. Might as well, it's a nice day. Doesn't it hurt to uh, take care of your toys. So we'll give this a little run over quick and then we'll get to the CR and the main point of the video with the rubber band tires. Justin over here doing the same, shining the pipes up. I'm sure most of you aren't gonna complain if I fire this thing up. It's been a little while. See if she starts up. Look at that. First kick. Boom. So if you guys haven't seen, I'm sure you have, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing on my website, linked down below in the description. So if you want to win this thing, I'm taking care of everything, I'll ship it to you. You'll come here, ride with us for the day if you're local or somewhat close and you uh, want to come ride, pick it up. So ending on July 15th, get your entries in. You guys have seen it, the uh, dangle gripper mounts for the GoPros, I don't need to talk about it. They clip onto the front of your helmet. The best GoPro mount you could possibly ever have. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Bro, I can't get Give it a little juice. Put your foot on. You know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's still map one. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I said the short guys need some love too, huh? Oh, we get it. <laughs> Especially with Harleys like that. Right, so I'll show you a little example before we get the tire taken off and we get the rubber band tires. So we'll mimic and do the same thing with the rubber band tires. Uh, we'll get it warmed up and uh, we'll go mess around. <laughs> Everybody's gonna get really heated. The bike was warmed up, okay? I wouldn't do that to the girl, all right? So don't get too heated. If you guys are new and you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you're just uh, kind of destroying the pit bike. It's been a while since we did a backyard video. So it's kind of back to the OG days when I used to just mop around the backyard. And we'll get this tire taken off and start throwing some rubber bands on there. Well, that was pretty fun. We'll put it away and me and Justin will get at it. Should be fun trying to get this tire off. Yeah. I'll give you a ride up. <laughs> I won't do it. I won't do it. You're full. It's been a while. I've forgotten how much fun this thing is. Can't wait to get it all dialed in. Since on the pit crew today. Me and Justin just got the wheel off. We're thinking here, I'm looking to let the air out of the valve stem. We're like, where is the valve stem? At one time we made the video putting the tennis balls in. It's still full of uh, the tennis balls, I forgot. So it should make it easier to take it off, hopefully. Probably not. Bro, honestly, you may as well just cut that thing. Here's the aftermath of the Drift Quad rubber bands if you didn't see that video, along with the PVC, the duct tape, the tin foil, the, the list goes on. So if you haven't seen the Drift Quad videos, tire videos where this is sparked from, they got a whole playlist on the channel if you wanna check those out. Pretty funny. Best one so far has been either the bubble wrap, the PVC, and the duct tape. All right, well, if you didn't see the Drift Quad video, we have a lot of rubber bands. So we have about 6,000 rubber bands. About 6,000 rubber bands. We're obviously not gonna use them all. We're gonna try and make a tire at least come out two inches better than the Drift Clyde one, so we're gonna get at it. So about two, two and a half bags later, we did as much as we could before the bands kind of started falling off, so definitely has a better tire than the Drift Quad did. 
it actually protrudes quite a bit. Not, I mean, decent enough that we can possibly do. So we'll throw it back in the bike and toss it up. All right, well, here it is. The pit bike rubber band tire thing looks ridiculous, as did the um, drift quad. So, so if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Solid, right? Yeah, you're going to grip every wheel. I know. I think it'll grip better than the ball tire I had before. This chain is way too tight. 100 likes on this video, and we'll do another one. I probably should have put brakes on. Oh, this is sketchy. Wheel it out for thumbnail purposes. All right. There it is. This thing looks ridiculous. I think it's definitely more solid than the drift quad one You're for sure. You're gonna break this chain. All right, we'll take the mini freestyle ramp over on the hill. Drag it over. Oh. All right, here we go. We're gonna cruise over to the freestyle ramp before I ruin it. <laughs> it just spins all the way up. I don't want it to like come up and spin it and be like. But they all ripped off on that one. Look, they're all wrapped up more around the hub. Oh, you can feel that sprocket is on fire. I'm not doing it again. What else should I do? I guess that was fun for the, what, 10 minutes it lasted? <laughs> None of these tire videos really last too long. If you guys want to see more, make sure you're subscribed. And I guess we'll go mess around on the e-bike. <laughs> this thing is... Oh, look at all that muddy water come out. So heavy. Well, it wouldn't be a video without a little bit of e-bike content in there. So if you want more e-bike stuff, let me know. And I'll probably give it to you anyway, but because this thing's too much fun, I think it's literally the best thing, like most fun I've had on a bike, hands down. It's just such a different experience. I, I seriously love this thing. Everybody who rides it. Everybody, it. everybody who rides the thing literally falls in love with it within like 30 seconds riding it. So we'll hit this now. Gotta go a little bit faster, probably. That was probably the best one. Uh, well, that was definitely fun while it lasted. Leave a comment down below what else you want us to try on the pit bike. Kind of did exactly what I thought it was. It was gonna slip in the grass and kind of grip. I should have tried it on the pavement, but at that point, it was already, you're just gonna ride on the rim, so it didn't really matter, so. Take it off, undo it. I gotta take it off, get these all out, and then the pit bike should be getting a makeover here in the next couple weeks. I still have probably 6,000, 5,000 rubber bands, so I guess let me know what else I can possibly do with these things. I really don't know, I have too many. Maybe I'll just start throwing rubber bands in random orders, I don't know, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny along with the drift quad, and we'll try and do that. We got big things coming for the drift quad, something nobody's ever seen before. It's not a tire wrapping video, um, so hopefully in the next like two, three weeks, we'll have that all figured out and up on the channel for you guys to watch. So if you guys are new and you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win the CR125. The link's down below. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And if you want to see build videos or build content, me building different bikes, you can follow the build page, which is at Project Two Strokes. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.